Welcome back, Blade aficionados. This old sword with you once again. And we have a new knife from Dirk Pinkerton Designs today in collaboration with Beyond EDC. We have the Gara, G-A-R-R-A, -R -R -A, which in Spanish means claw. Kind of like the claw of an animal or even the talon of an eagle or a hawk. It is a fairly modestly priced blade. I can give you that right up front. It is coming in at... <laughs> okay, boy, I can barely see it on Dirk's site. $69, okay. And... Um, I think there's some shipping on top of that, but there's no tax. At any rate, this is a neat little knife, and it ain't that little. We're going to go over some of the dimensions and some of the features uh, of this uh, nice little beauty. Very surprising quality for the money. So, um, reading from Dirk's website... Uh, he says, uh, this is a new design I'm doing with Beyond DDC. Gara means claw or talon. With this folder, as with some of my other claw type blades, the tip of the claw is oriented in the center line of the knife instead of angling down. This maintains the benefit of a curved blade while making an acute tip more available for different tasks. As a self-defense tool, this blade orientation allows more techniques to be available to the user. The blade is a VG10 and features an opening fuller. This fuller can be used as a conventional thumb stud or opening hole and works well with the offside middle finger flick. Utilizes ceramic bearings for the pivot for a very smooth opening and the handle micarta with jimping and key spots for increased grip. It has an ambidextrous tip-up deep carry pocket clip. Blade length 3.25 inches with an overall length of 7.25. And we'll get to that when I do the measurements. But the action on this guy is smooth right out of the box. The uh, middle finger flick, no problem. The thumb roll no problem the thumb flick no problem and can we even shake it out not very easily which is a good thing so we've got a crisp detent you can hear it a little bit definite crisp positive detent let's try that middle finger flick again Got to get a little acceleration going. There we go. It is an easy knife to open, and that fuller is cut sharp enough so it's grabbing your finger instead of having your finger slide off. I find having a sharp shoulder on a fuller is the most positive way to be sure that you're opening it all the time. And you can see it right there. And one thing I noted is that. Um, this point right here is just a little sharp if you happen to catch your finger on it. About the only downside I found on the, uh, the entire knife. Great jimping, and Dirk is known for putting jimping on a lot of his concept knives that he has designed, including the Main Street and the Little Main Street. There you can see how precisely cut into both the liners as well as the handle material that that jimping is on the f on the handle on the frame and continues on to the blade and that's what he's talking about that the point is more or less on line with the center of the handle as you hold it and yet there is a curve, concave curve, that gives you that talon-like point. Deep carry clip of the pretty much now standard 
polished steel spring clip type but very smooth in and out of the pocket even though he has some domed screws there rather than flathead. I know Civivi and Concept and some of the other companies have gone more to the flathead screws but having put it, having put this in and out of the pocket a few times I don't see any issue in sliding it in and out and you've got good entry and good release on that little bulge in the clip there, that little foot. You can see that there is jimping here on the back side so this holds very well in a so-called karambit style even though you don't have the ring. You've got a great ramp for your thumb, comfortable to cap it. So it's going to be more of an outward movement defensively if you're using it that way and this way we're going to have more of a forward talon or claw type of move. You can also in, use the index finger and use the so-called sharp finger technique if you're using that defensively. But you can definitely hang on to this knife very well. I have no problems getting all four fingers with a little left over on that handle. And if I want, I can extend the thumb fully on the back of the blade, which I like to do. All right. Sometimes you feel a little cramped up in here. You know, of course, if you're working with it, different story. And this does have some utility function to it: cutting rope, cutting twine, cutting um, fabrics, whatnot. Definitely have that point available for all those things. So some quick measurements. I gave you a few of them, tipped you off ahead of time. They are most likely accurate. We have a seven and a quarter inch overall, as Dirk said on his webpage. And we have like, uh, I guess we'll call it three and a quarter. Just a little shy. I'm, I'm getting like three and an eighth if we get three inch cutting edge. Um, three and an eighth to the handle. Call it three and a quarter if you want. As far as some of the other measurements go, handle thickness, it's a good handle to hold on to, 0.58. Doesn't need to be that thin. And a 3.2 millimeter, let's make sure I got that correctly. 3.3 millimeter blade stock. And it is weight relieved. We got some uh, ventilating holes, lightning holes in there. Let's see if I can get an accurate reading on my scale. So in ounces, uh, 3.94, under four ounces. Quite nice. So it's going to be fairly flat in your pocket. Um, maybe you wanted it to be a little closer to half inch thickness. For me, however, I need that grip. If I'm going to be using this under duress, I don't want a little skinny handle. I want something I can hold on to. And I don't think at this thickness we're calling that fat at all. Uh, it is a VG10 blade. And there is the Beyond EDC logo. They are, I believe, the makers of it, although they may use an OEM. We don't know who that is. But it's very much like a best tech sort of a quality, so who knows. There's Dirk Pinkerton's logo. And very, very finely here, that direction, I think, is the VG10. Good steel. I mean, a Japanese VG10, if that's what they're using, is a good, solid steel. Spyderco had used it in many of their knives for years. And um, this action on bearings is just really, really smooth. And again, right out of the box smooth. With the detent dialed in, I would say just about right. We do have a bit longer handle than blade, but that's fine. I'm glad that I have the handle that I do so I can hang on to it and get a really good secure 
grip without it being too fat in the pocket. And just enough blade to be uh, really useful in any situation. There's your blank that gets removed when you switch the clip to the left side. So we've got tip up, left or right side carry. Nice relief and chamfering on the uh, liner lock. Beautiful. And it disengages beautifully. No hang up, no lock stick, no nothing. It's just completely smooth, glass smooth. But again, tight enough. So you do need to be deliberate about it when you release that. Just really hand friendly. I'm not a, the greatest middle finger flicker, but um, that fuller seems to serve a great function without needing to put a thumb stud there and getting rid of the flipper tab. So don't have any of that. Don't need any of that. You can get this blade open so many different ways. You can push in there to flick it with the thumb. You can approach it way out there. You can flick it from way out there or a little closer to the axis. And speaking of the uh, pivots, yes, they're using a slotted screw on both sides. I thought that was quite interesting. No torques. Let's bring in, for comparison, a different blade, a little unusual, from um, Tucson. And I'm going to have to go look for the name. I had to look through the old uh, database, but this is the TS-74 in case you're interested. I only brought it out because it's kind of a longer 4-inch-ish version of that blade style. Very similar. You can see just about the same amount of bend, but this is where Dirk angled the entire blade up a little bit on the Gara in order to center that point, which again is very interesting. We've got about a half uh, length backspacer here out of uh, micarta, and this is again a beautiful micarta, kind of a tan, natural color, if there's such a thing, micarta. Obviously a candidate for adding some color with writ dye, if that's what your thing is. I like it the color that it is. And uh, for about 70 bucks, I can highly recommend this neat little utility slash defense knife from uh, Beyond EDC and designed by Dirk Pinkerton. I will leave a link to Dirk Pinkerton's website and this knife in the comments. Check for them there. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. Be well. I'll be back with you soon.